Our next guest is a U.S. Marine veteran who put his life on the line for our country during one of the deadliest periods of the war in Afghanistan. His only thought was protecting his fellow Marines around him. And joining us now is former Marine and also the author of a great book. It is called The Shot, Sergeant Bill B. You know, it's wonderful to have you here in studio. And first of all, thank you for your service and your heroism and just your sacrifice for our country and everything that we stand for, everything that you stand for. Tell us about that moment, the famous shot that was captured by a Reuters <laughs> photographer um, and captured around the world. What happened? Walk everybody through that moment. Well, it was, it was, uh, it was interesting. Let's put it that way. I had just gotten off a uh, being the sergeant of the guard for my guys and was washing my clothes. You know, they were at the point where socks stood up and pants stood up by themselves. So time to wash some mud out of them. And while I was doing that, we just heard one round go off. And uh, that was kind of concerning because it wasn't the typical Taliban shoot above a wall, you know, 20 rounds kind of thing. But uh, I went to check on one of my Marines. And as I was talking to him, I saw Gorin with his camera just taking pictures. It's like, yeah, whatever. And looked at a uh, building where I saw some movement, went to draw down on the guy. And as soon as that happened, just world went blank. Next thing I wake up, I'm on a stretcher. They're trying to chasm me. And that's basically it. Wow. And of course, it was a, a sniper in the Helmand province yeah. uh, there in Afghanistan. The shot, everybody sort of saw it when it, when it came up, <laughs> the dust was shooting up. I remember you know, seeing the image. When you saw it and you looked back at it, what went through your mind? And obviously, just the emotions, the physical wounds, certainly, as you went through, but also emotional wounds. Honestly, I thought it was more funny than anything. Like, as soon as Gordon came over, he showed me those photos. He had a big smile on his face. And both of us just couldn't stop laughing. It was a case of the adrenaline coming down, but the ridiculousness of the situation, all of it combined. And you survived to be well, able yeah, to tell, too. which is the lucky thing, which is, <laughs> is a, a, such a gift. You know, you have now also had an incredible gift. Now you're at Camp Lejeune, mm -hmm. um, uh, one of the great, great bases out there. And you are helping other veterans and other family members, too, especially deal with post-traumatic stress. Talk about how important that is and what's your message to other folks out there, and especially the message of the shot, because the whole story is of your journey coming from rural Ohio, um, going through the front lines there in Afghanistan, and then the war you faced on the other end, too. Well, when I first got out, it was basically, I had a job counseling Marines and their families, helping them apply for benefits. And I, could, I think that was kind of a catharsis, because that gave me the opportunity once a week to stand up in front of, you know, 50, 60, 60 Marines and be like, hey, this is my story, this is how I'm jacked up, uh, this is how you get help when you have these kind of issues. And I think getting on a platform and talking in every week, is that kind of helped quite a bit. And uh, you know, transitioning on, I moved to a different job, but uh, having the ability to stand up and say, this is what caused my issues, this is what's going through my mind, that kind of, that's kind of, the message I wanted to get across with the book is for people, Marines to understand, you know, we definitely have a suck it up mentality. You know, we'll take care of ourselves when we're closer to getting out and stuff like that. And that's good to a point, but when it comes to some of these mental health issues, you know, you really can't suck it up. At some point, you gotta break down and ask for help. And it took me 13 years to reach that point to, to actually break down and ask for help. And once I did, you know, the world moved heaven and earth itself to get me the help I needed, but you know, you gotta break down and ask for it in the first place. Absolutely, and by the way, thank you for sharing your journey in the shot and helping other people get through it and learn from you. You're inspiring so many people. It's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for your <laughs> service. For what an honor me. to have you here, Sergeant. Thank you. I appreciate it. Very much, and what a great, great book, everybody. It's called The Shot. Get it, it is terrific. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.